Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Get Fit with Kaylee and myself Desiree and today we're going to focus on a pretty important topic that a lot of people like to ignore when they're working out and that is the core. So we all know at some point we've all wanted a six pack. Sometimes that's not achievable for everybody but a strong core is something that we should all have because if you have a strong core it prevents injuries, it makes those everyday activities just easier. So picking something up off the floor, reaching up, just simple stuff. And you know, a lot of us have those desk jobs where we're sitting all the time, hunched over. So if we have a strong core, we're gonna have better posture. So why don't we get right into it? We're gonna do four exercises. So the first one that we're gonna start with is a basic plank. So Kaylee's gonna come up onto her toes, palms of her hands, and she's just gonna hold this position for anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute. So if you've got a bit of a weaker core, you know, start at 30 seconds, come down onto your knees, but you wanna make sure that that back and butt are totally in line. So you just want one flat area. Keeping that core tight, sucking that belly button all the way into her back. Keeping those shoulders down. Good. So we'll come out of that. Next exercise, she's gonna come right down onto her stomach. And we're gonna do what's called a Superman. And she's gonna lift one arm and the opposite leg at the same time. Hold and squeeze at the top. So she wants to squeeze her shoulder blades together and squeeze those glutes together. So 10 of these in total. Pause at the top, all the way back down. Making sure to breathe, and not let her hip rotate up, just lifting that leg straight up. Last two. All the way up, getting that squeeze at the top and back down. Now we're gonna come over onto our back. I'm gonna make this one a little bit more difficult. So she's gonna lay flat on her back, lay her head down onto the mat, extend those legs up, keep those knees straight, and she's gonna slowly lower and lift her legs. To make it a little easier, you can put your hands just under your hips. And making sure to not let her heels just crash to the ground, controlling the motion. If this weighs a little bit too hard, make it a little bit easier by bending your knees and just tapping your heels to the ground. But same thing, you don't wanna let them crash to the floor. And if you really wanna advance it a little more, She's gonna keep those legs straight, and as she comes up, lift her hips just slightly off of the floor. So let's do two more of those. Perfect. Keeping those feet stacked right over top of her hips. Last one, and good. Now we got one more here. So she's gonna put her feet together, and this is what we like to call a frogger hip up. So if you think about it, pressing those knees down towards the floor, and then she's gonna lift her hips up towards the ceiling. Squeeze those glutes together as she pushes up. Squeezing those glutes. <laughs> so this one might not look like it works your core, but we are working those glutes and those hip flexors, which are another main component of a strong core. Everything connects. So she's gonna keep pushing up as high as she can. Squeeze at the top. A few more. Good. Should be the last one. Perfect. Whew. That's a pretty good set we got going on, but just like any other time, we're gonna do three sets of everything. So give those abs a little bit of a break, shake it out, 
And we're gonna go right back to that plank when we're ready. And like we showed, there's a couple options here. So you can come to an extended, wanna make it a little harder, come down onto your forearms. This one's gonna be a lot more intense. So when you're down here, you wanna make sure that your back isn't arching, letting your stomach go towards the floor. Exactly like that. You don't wanna look like that. You wanna keep everything in one straight line. And it's very important here that you breathe. <laughs> and come back up to that full plank, come down onto your knees, whatever feels comfortable. And we're gonna try and hold that for another 20 seconds, keeping that butt tucked in. Don't let it rise up. Good. Keeping that core tight as you can. Suck in that stomach. Good. Three, two, and one. That was a full minute. So we're back to those Supermans. So opposite arm, opposite leg lift. So same thing here, we're targeting those glutes a little bit more and the low back. The low back is a big one with core strength because all of those attach. So if you have a weak back, probably gonna have a weak core as well. So you wanna hit all of those main movers. So making sure at the top, squeezing as hard as she can. Good, and slowly lower back down. We're doing 10 full reps of this, getting that pause at the top. Perfect. And she's gonna roll over onto the other side. Extend those legs if she can. Remember, we got a couple options here. So either legs fully extended, get those hands under your hips, and drop those legs down to the floor. Getting that hover just above the ground. Good, keeping that core tight. Pushing that belly button in so your back isn't arched off the ground. You want your back in contact with the ground. So if you feel like your back is peeling up off the floor every time, go to the easier version with your knees bent and just tapping those heels to the ground. Good. Couple more. Ooh, really feeling those abs fire up now. I'm gonna have a six pack in no time. Good, we got one more left. So she's gonna plant those feet together, push those knees out and towards the ground, and when she's ready, push those hips as far up as you can. So wherever it feels comfortable to put your arms, you can put them down beside you if you feel like you need a little more balance and pause at the top. Squeeze those glute muscles. Really working those hip flexors in this one. Hip flexors, glutes, and a little bit of abs. So all the way up, all the way back down. Good. A few more here. Almost done the set. Job. Last few. Perfect. Maybe give yourself a little bit of a hug, bring your knees in, give that core a little bit rest because we still got one more set to go. So we're gonna come back down into that plank. So remember, you can choose the variation that you want. You can come down onto your knees, you can come into a full plank, and you're gonna hold that for a whole minute. 30 seconds if you're just starting off. So you wanna pull that belly button into your back. Everything here should be tight. That butt should be down. Shoulder blade should be down. Everything should be in line. If it starts to get too hard, you can drop down to your knees. 
You can come up to that full extension. We're gonna hold for another 30 seconds. So pull everything in. Make sure to breathe in and out. Might be getting a little shaky by now, but you're really using every muscle in your body here. Perfect. And then we're gonna drop down into that Superman position. So onto your stomach and opposite arm, opposite leg. You're gonna lift and lower, making sure to squeeze at the top. You wanna feel that glute fire up. Feel that shoulder blade fire up as well. Make it a little bit either, easier. Take a breath in, breathe out as you pull up. Do last two. Good. We're gonna roll right onto our back one more time. These last two are probably the hardest ones. So see if you can get 10 full lifts. We're gonna try and keep those legs straight. Put those hands under your hips. Put that head back and let's try and get 10. So keeping those legs and knees straight. Don't wanna let them bend. If you can, lower all the way down and then hover those heels just slightly above the mat. You gotta use every single core muscle you got in there. So bring those legs all the way up and all the way down, controlled motion. Good, few more left. Remember to breathe. Breathe out as you lift up. Last set. All the way up, stacked right over top of your hips. Remember you can do that little hip lift if you wanna make it even more difficult. <laughs> Perfect. Now the last exercise, we're gonna put those feet together. Probably feeling it now. We're gonna lay back. Get ready and we're gonna push those hips up. Work out those hip flexors. Another area that's really tight a lot of the time. So we're gonna push up, hold at the top. Little pause. Squeeze those glute muscles together as much as you can. Good. All the way back down. Very controlled motion. You don't wanna be up, down, up, down quick. You wanna take your time, pause at the top, control it back down. Got a few more here. Good. Push all the way up, all the way back down. Keeping everything tight. Perfect. So give yourself a little hug, maybe roll it out, stretch it out a little bit. Again, one of those areas that not a lot of us work on. So we hit the hip flexors, we hit some of the glutes, and we hit the rectus abdominis. When we come back after the break, we're gonna hit some of the other ab groups. So we're gonna hit more of the obliques, those you know side ones when you see people have those striations through here. We're gonna hit those, we're gonna hit a bit of the deeper ab muscles. So come back and join us. Welcome back to Get Fit. We are focused on the core today. So before the break, we did a little bit of exercising through glutes and hip flexors and kind of our main ab muscles that people think of when they work their core. Um, we're gonna get into a few more exercises. So 
another three sets. And we're going to get a bit more into the obliques, so kind of the muscles that run al along your sides. Um, we're going to tap into hip flexors a little bit more. And actually, I'm going to say full abs. Des is just going to go at it with you guys, full abs. So why don't we get started on that? We are going to get right into it. We're going to start with what we call a frogger crunch. So taking that same base we did with that frogger hip up, what that opening of the legs does is kind of disengages the use of our hip flexors on this one and really, really puts a lot of focus on the core to do all that lifting. So abs are working really hard to crunch up. Obviously, if this was feeling a little bit tricky in the beginning, we would do a smaller range of motion, like even just a quarter crunch or a little half lift is awesome because you really are disengaging low body. So that's pretty awesome. Any movement and is gonna feel like work in there. So when you're coming up, a big, big exhale. We're gonna do a few more with this first one. Belly button pulls in, chest lifts, arms lift. Awesome job. Let's say last two. Core should be firing up already. All those muscles on the front. Awesome. We're going to move on to side body. So just rolling over onto either one of your hips. And doing that, we're just going to really try to isolate obliques. So even placing your hand there, you're going to feel those muscles kind of fire. It sometimes works to think about bringing your low rib a little closer to your hip. And again, with the lift in the core work, that's gonna be your exhale. So let's stay for 12 per side. Probably coming up on about halfway here. If you're thinking you're pretty tough and this is feeling pretty simple, there's definitely a way to ramp it up. Desiree can show you a ramp up. My goodness, that's a big ramp up. So finding that kind of hardcore side oblique crunch or that smaller one is perfect. And we're gonna do both sides so to keep the body even from left to right both sides thinking about low rib coming closer to the hip and then really important with doing all of our core work is that engagement and pulling in of the belly button and then definitely keeping that breath moving so every time we're crunching it's a big exhale and squeeze Probably coming into our last couple here on the second side. Good, so nice slow controlled tempo with all the ab work we're doing, all the core stuff. We're gonna come into a scissor. This will be a timed one, so you can kind of, you'll probably find your max, or if you do have a clock you can stare at, maybe 20 to 40 seconds. We'll go 30 for today. This is really gonna, you're kind of doing a whole lot here. We have a static hold going on with the core. We have those hip flexors engaged and working. Low abs right fired up. So continually pulling that belly button down and keeping breath moving. Awesome, awesome job. So taking rest when you need to, we wanna keep kind of contact with that low back tucked into the floor. It's so really strong. Last little bit, let's say three. Two, one, amazing. And we're gonna hit those obliques one more time. So we call, this one's called a Russian twist. I'm gonna say weight or no weight. Absolutely don't need to add that in. It definitely does the trick without it. Um, I think we'll go for 20. Take a rest when you need to. Um, join in if you're happy to take 20. All of that work and movement's coming from the core and center. Her breath is moving. Make it a little bit trickier. She's floated the heels up off the floor here. And you'll notice she's holding that really beautiful kind of 45 degree angle with her body. So when we get tired, we might be tempted to kind of sit up tall. That's cool, but do your best job to stay back in that nice 45, getting that static work. Just about there. Oh, good. Beauty. So that's this little set for here. We're gonna fire up two more. Stick with us, hang out. It's good to come back to those exercises a few more times. So starting with those froggers, disengaging hip flexors, opening up. And then remember your range of motion, deciding if you can come all the way up. Beautiful, that's awesome. 
or just a baby crunch, half crunch, quarter lift, whatever works. Desiree is mentally kind of thinking about that core as she's lifting, so even just thinking about your tummy if you're joining us and really focusing on pulling that belly button in. Super important just to guard the low back and get everything moving in a way we want to move. Last few. Good job. So exhale with the lift. In breath, we reset. Awesome. Moving into that oblique crunch. So again, just rolling over onto your hip. Maybe placing hand to the side just to feel those muscles working. Mentally thinking about those side muscles. And low rib, crunching up to hip. Low rib, crunch it to the hip. So make that space smaller. Awesome. We're gonna go for 12 per side. If you can find a range somewhere between even eight to 15, that's awesome. Your breath is important. Tempo's awesome to pay attention to. It's always moving with control when we're training core and center. Roll over, find that other side. Same thing, we'll match it up with whatever number you did on the first set, so eight to 12, maybe more. Hand there to feel the work. In breath, resetting and exhale, crunching. So really feeling that side body obliques fire up. Good. Keep rolling, a few more. Nice, strong cores. Sweet, we'll roll around to backside and we're gonna move into that scissor kick, flutter kick. Does lots of engagement of full kind of core. So taking hands under there for some support is awesome. And then a little bit of the legs opening and then they're taking a little baby crossover. Desiree's alternating which foot comes on the top. In this, like we said, first set, it's just kind of held till you are kind of shaky and feeling your max, or if you wanna kind of be numbers girl, numbers guy, 20 to 40 seconds to start would probably be amazing. So there's a flutter, just up and down, up and down, up and down. Belly button's pulling in, we're breathing, we're breathing. Three, two, and one. Fire. We're just gonna pass through the weight, strong core. <laughs> so weight or no weight, but find that 45 through your spine, chest lifted, really good posture. Either grounding down through the heels or finding that little bit of a hover. Just cranking out a really smooth tempo. Keeping this one an even number, so wherever you kind of decide to hit, Desiree's going for 20, keep it an even number so you're getting equal left to right. And lots of breath. So a little baby exhale with each rotation. Again, really targeting those side muscles, your obliques on this one. Fire. Okay, so we're two sets down and we're second half here. So <laughs> cores are really fired up. We're gonna go for one more because we're all strong and we all want a strong core. Awesome, awesome. Starting with those froggers, so opening, soles of feet together, knees fall to the outside edges of your mat or away from the body. Disengage here, puts a lot of work on your core. Exhale with your little lift, belly button drives in. We're going for 12, you find a range that works good for you. Eight to 15, progress. Finding a range of motion that fires up your front side. Good, controlled tempo, so strong lift up, controlled on the way back down. Really awesome, Ooh, full lift. Awesome. We're rolling in with our last set here. So this is the last time we're gonna come to the obliques. Third set, we're going, again, eight to 12 per side. Hand there to get that mind-muscle connection. That's huge when you're working core, too. So really thinking about obliques, your side body. Exhale with the work. We always stoke breath, breath, breath. It is really important. It helps you move better, engages the muscles a little bit better. Oh, we're ramping it up. If you're feeling hardcore, 
Join in, so full extension through arms, full extension through legs. That brings on the heat, I tell ya. Rolling over other side, finding those stacked hips and starting that crunch. Good. Exhale with the work. In breath, you're resetting. Think about those obliques. Strong core, strong body, good posture. I'm gonna finish her off with a few hard cores. Full extension through legs and arms, amazing. And cores are pretty quick to adapt too. If you kind of keep coming back to this, you'll notice yourself getting more reps or different variations and you'll be pretty darn pumped. So it does adapt quick too. We'll come into either that scissor with the legs or that flutter. And remember, whatever range of motion you're at is perfect. Start there and allow your body some time to progress. So really important, again, to kind of tuck the tail, get that contact with the low back, and then really, really driving that belly button in just to keep everything safe and muscles engaged in a way that we want them to be. This one you can tap out with your max, so you can set a little timer. We're gonna go for five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. We're gonna see if those obliques can work one more time. <laughs> Finishing up with one more set of those Russian twists. Most important is keeping that really nice posture through your spine. It's a tall spine. We're matching hardcore. You're gonna float those heels up just so then you're adding in a whole different element of your balance. Obliques are working extra hard because they don't have less support. You find your number, keep it even. Maybe start at 10, progress up to 20. Sweet, belly button's pulled in. Muscles are doing that rotation. Good, <laughs> amazing. So lots of good stuff happening today. So when we are thinking about core, a lot of people definitely kind of um, just think six pack muscles, six pack muscles. Those are, that's like our very outer layer of ab muscles. So there's that outer layer. But today we kind of took you guys through that layer. Then we hammered into obliques, which are those really nice side muscles. And then we have this third layer that kind of comes from pelvis all the way up the, to the ribs and kind of wraps around to the backside as well. It's called your transverse. That's like a super important layer to work. Then we tapped into hip flexors, glutes, and low back. So all of those kind of making up your center and your, like, your structure, your strength. So when you're doing those workouts, just keep that in mind. Try to get your focus off just those little outside muscles and kind of tap into all those layers of your abs. Don't forget hip flexors, glutes, and low back. So thanks for joining us, getting your core nice and strong. And we will see you guys next time on Get Fit.